know, when I was young, climbing saved our lives. We had nothing to do with corporate America. I mean, this is the 60s. We just said no to a lot of that stuff. And we had a counterculture lifestyle and made our own way. You know, we really were proud of the fact that climbing had no economic value in society. That was great. I had a dream, I stood beneath an orange sky. You know, when we were doing big walls in Yosemite and stuff, hardly anything had been done. So you didn't repeat routes. I mean, why repeat a route when you can go do a new route? I think the curious common bond that we all had is a passion to do something with no outside motivation. It was more from the inside because you weren't going to get famous about it. You weren't going to get paid for it. No way, no how. When you first started coming into this place, it was really intriguing about the lifestyle and the characters. It just seemed like an array of characters. Of course, you can remember, for me, it was in the 70s, early 70s. So there was a whole revolution of things going on in mainstream society of protesting wars, you know, hippie generation, all that. It, it seemed like everything was an adventure around here. Every step you were taking had a, an inspiration of the unknown and the excitement just to be here. Pale light this morning. I left school and the whole thing. Left at 16 to come up here. I did not feel like I was smart. That was some of the side effects of being in a situation where you're being given an A, B, C, D, or F. And you start convincing yourself that you're not as good as, you're less than. But at the same time, I realized something very curious for myself that I had a very strong connection to nature. Basically, rock climbing became a way of life. Now, who would have thought? kind of willing to almost do anything to just know who you are and where you're at. And with youthful enthusiasm, they're willing to try it just for the adventure of it, for the initiation into something that who knows what it is. It might be a gang, I don't know. in my mind As the days keep turning into night And I tell them that you had to do something to get in here, even to get locked up. Now you know where you're at, and what are you gonna do about it? What I got to experience as a kid on a 20-day backpacking trip and hiking to the top of peaks and things, that somehow your imagination will catch something and you might get that, that miracle of life that is anything's possible. That's a nice time right there. A little tiny thin crack. Mm -hmm. It's funny how that works because in your youthful times you play the risk in a way. It's more exciting. Then <laughs> as you get past that and you realize that you don't live forever, like you know, when you're 19 you will live forever. Yeah. But when you're like my young age of 56, you're like, dang, you don't. <laughs> I'm only 16, but I've been through a lot of stuff. 
like from 2011 to now I've been locked up probably like 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 20 times since I'm 18 now if I keep continuing this path I walk on it's gonna lead down to destruction and all that time makes you think it really does it, like just just sitting in there you think yeah That's right it goes around that way, underneath, and then back out. What do you think <laughs> start going, yeah? Right inside that crack. Yeah, like that. Exactly. Oh, swim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep going. No, basic. The policeman out, down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just use the rope a little bit and go up there and grab it. Pull up and we'll, we'll pull you up. <laughs> got you. We got you to jump. Yeah, bro. Yeah. 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 It's so interesting. You know, we call it when we're uh, underneath your friend, you spot him. So that's what we're kind of doing for each other now in these moves we're making. Those kids are sharing how they feel, and I'm sure how I feel. So we're spotting each other in life, like helping each other to the next move. <laughs> You're holding me. Yeah. My life's in your hands. <laughs> There's a fine line when you're forcing something and you're learning to flow with something. You're becoming a part of something or you're just trying to grope your way through something with just strength. There's a place I go to by myself a lot where it's just a horizontal traverse. And I just try to learn to move with the moment and be focused on my breath. I might go across traverse and just think about breathing. And I might go through it just think about my hands or my feet or you know or how you just move in your shoulders whatever and practice by going out and rock climbing you have to face everything about yourself and it's all up to you you take your hands and feet you put them on the rock you pull yourself up you are 100 percent responsible for yourself you got to know that knot's tied right you got to know who your partner is you need the trust of a partner and I bring that up to our youngsters. I say, you know, rock climbing is kind of like what you guys are doing. If you get yourself into something, how are you going to get out? <laughs> well, I think for me, sometimes it's just to see the potential in something and try to bring it out. Mm -hmm. 